Video scripts have a very unique look, whether it's the two-column format or the screenplay format. It's unlike any other type of writing that you'll see. In this movie, we're going to set up our own two-column script using Microsoft Word. And we're going to create our own because, oddly enough, there are no two-column script writing applications out there that I'm aware of. We're going to start by going up to the File menu, clicking on File, and selecting New Blank Document. I like to start by spacing down a couple of times just to give me a little bit of extra room. We'll start by drawing a table, a two-column table. So let's click on the Tables tab, and on the New Table button, click on that, and come down and just select two columns, eight rows. That will get us started. And then we click in the first row. Video goes on the left, so I type Video. I hit the Tab button and type Audio. I like to have these words centered, so we'll highlight that row, click on the Home button, and then click on Centering of the Text. Click down into the first row of video, and if we see it, it goes on the left-hand side of the page. If we hear it, it goes on the right side of the page. So over on the left-hand side of the page, this might be a good place to put Title, and on the right-hand side, this would be a good place to put Music and then we can describe that music. I like to use colons after these and a space. Even if our title was just one line, I would still like to have an extra space underneath it because it just makes it easier to read. When the rows are all jammed up single space like that, it really is more difficult to read. I like to put one shot per row. So in this case, this would be long shot building the next shot might be medium shot, man enters building. The sound might be natural sound. We call that NATS. We have a whole movie on abbreviations, but we'll have just NAT sound at this point. And it goes on from there. And like I said, I like to have an extra space here because it just makes it easier to read. I also think it's a good idea to have a header. We'll click on the View menu, come down and select Header and Footer. We'll put the title, leave some space for the draft number, because there will be more than one draft of this script. I think it's a good idea to put the date. And then it's also a very good idea to always insert page numbers. So from the Insert menu, select Page Numbers. We'll align this in the top right-hand corner. Just to confirm the format, we want to make sure that it's continuous. We'll start with number one. So we can click OK and click OK. And there is our page number right there. Closing our header. And now we're ready, really, to save this as a template. We could just make this a script and then have to build our template every time we wanted to write a script, or we could save this as a template. To do that would probably be a good idea to take our shots out because we don't want them to be in our template. But we can certainly leave in title and music because we'll probably have a title and probably have music. To save this as a template, go to the File menu. And where you would normally go to click on Save As and save your file as a Word document, click on the Format and select Word Template. And this will save this in this same format as a Word template. And it puts it in the right folder, right exactly where it ought to go. And when you click Save, it now tells you that this is a template. How do we access this template the next time we want to use it? Well, let's just go to the File menu, click on New from Template. And when we click on My Templates, we'll see Video. When we double-click on it, there is our template that we just created. It's already in the right place, and it will be there on your computer every time you want to use it.